Hello viewers, I am Deepti reporting from Bangkok, Thailand. How can I forget my beautiful viewers? Here, this is Science Center for Education, which is meant for saving energy. Different floors are there and I am going on separate floors for you. Hello viewers, I am Deepti reporting from Bangkok, Thailand and I am standing on the 5th floor of Science Museum and this is Insect Ward. Now we are going to enter inside the Insect Ward here. This is the life cycle of a beetle. So we know the stages of it. First is egg and then this is larva. You can see inside the picture. This is larva. Then Next, this is pupa. It will take uh, near about 7 to 10 days to form into adult. Now, this is an adult beetle. So, these are the different stages how an insect is formed. This is the fascinating world of bees. Asiatic honeybees, they are and dwarf honeybees there, these are different types of bees. This is a picture depicting camouflage. As you can see, everything is seen in this picture, but you are not able to see it because, and now you are able to see it. Because now they are highlighted. This is a dung beetle. It can carry 100 times its own weight. You can see it is carrying a large, huge weight with it. Another member from Arthropoda family, which is grasshopper. You can see its camouflage, it is green in color. You are not able to see it, but it is able to see you. I am sure you must have seen an uh, ant hill. I am sure you all have seen it. But now see inside it. A very nicely made beautiful model of this thing. You can see this is mother ant. And then these all are larva or pupa. These are different type of beetles shown here. These are stink bugs, you can see. These are beetles. These are again beetles. Different types, different categories of beetles, but their names are written in Thai. So I cannot read for you. All are different categories of beetles here. These are the group of bees shown here. If you want, you can see with the magnifying glass also. These are leaf insects. Stick insects and leaf insects are shown in this picture. These are different type of butterflies. A good collection of all types of insects here. This is giant rhinoceros beetle. Very big in size, you can see. Again, beetles. This is leaf insect and this is fighting beetle as the name depicts famous for its fighting. These are different groups of bees shown here. Now you can see this is woodpecker. Please note its beak. It is so sharp that it can make a hole in the bark of a tree. Now this is another category. This is again a woodpecker. Notice its beak. These are different kinds of birds. Every type of bird has a different type of call or you can say song or hymn, and they are recognized by them. First one is Asian fairy bluebird. Then next is white crested laughing thrush. Next is green billed malhoka. Next is greater focal. This is black headed woodpecker. And this is laughing thrush, greater necklaced laughing thrush. This is greater racket tailed rongo. Next is common moorthan. This is hill mina. This is lineated barbet. This is red wetted lapwing. And last is red jungle fowl. You can see.
I am standing among lion and tiger, but still I am fearless because I know they cannot harm me. The different types of corals. The last one is sponge coral. Then this is branching coral. This is foliaceous coral. This is massive coral. You can see so large it is. And this is mushroom coral. Taking an entry to the world of dinosaurs. Now this is the era before and after the dinosaurs. So this is Pre-Cambrian era. You can see in the first picture. Next is Paleozoic era. Next is Mesozoic era. In which dinosaurs are there. And then last is Cenozoic era. Which is divided into two parts. Tertiary period in which apes are there. And then Quaternary period turning to human beings. This is the model depicting internal organs of dinosaurs. You can see all ribs are there, tail and then skeleton. And this is the model depicting internal organs of human beings. A very simple quiz made for students on the topic plants as sources of renewable energy to create interest in them. So first question is alcohol mixed with gasoline is called and the correct answer is gasohol. This is the symbol that my answer is correct. And if, I, if it is incorrect, then it will go like this. But gasohol is correct. Second is cassava and sugarcane are the main feedstock for which renewable fuel. So this is ethanol. This is correct. Next is what is a blend of 5% biodiesel and 95% petroleum based diesel called. So this is B5 biodiesel here. Next is oil palm. Jetrofa and coconut can be used in the production of which alternative fuel? So, this is biodiesel. What is the blend of 10% alcohol and 90% gasoline called? So, this is E10 gasohol. So, this is the simple quiz made to create uh, among students the interest for renewable sources of energy.